there is going to be a Maya experience from 1st February to 8th February. It's a week of an awesome experience with Water Maya. So if you know that you have never been to Ghana and you want to come to Ghana, I mean 1st to 8th February is the best time for you to come and enjoy Ghana with me because I'm going to be there myself. This is not an ordinary trip. It's a trip that you're going to come and meet um, the entrepreneurs that I've been interviewing and also get the chance to explore other part of Ghana in eight days. So check out the link in the description. Book that experience. I mean, um, it's, it's affordable. one of a kind though there's so many houses that are empty all over Accra actually the biggest one is probably the Saglemi housing project which was built by the government 1100 houses which are completely empty but here we are today in houses ranging from 450,000 to 1.1 million dollars so here we are and there's 33 houses here and 15 of them are still for sale and they finished three years ago and as you can see there's hardly anybody here. And we're going to get into why the people that have bought these houses are not living here later in the video. So this is kind of like a ghost town and it's actually like freaking me out a bit. We're going to check out the houses inside and um, it's just such a shame because there's so many people that don't have anywhere to live actually in Accra. Yet there's these massive houses that could easily fit, like more than one family, empty. And even in the park, it's a ghost town. But to be honest, this is exactly what I look for when I'm looking for a place for my kids. Somewhere for them to play, roads, pavements, they could ride their bikes around here. It's just so strange that there's nobody here. I'm imagining the parties that could be had in this clubhouse with this big space and the massive pool. Can you think of the pool parties? Now I'm gonna enter one of the houses. It actually has so much space. It even has its own private pool. And yeah, amazing amount of space here. I mean, actually, I don't know why I'm knocking. Like, I know there's nobody inside. Oh my God. Oh my God. Welcome to the ghost town. This is actually terrifying. You want to join the ghost association? Oh my God, who is this? Who is this? Welcome to the ghost town inside the richest neighborhood in East Lebanon, Ghana. <laughs> Welcome, Vanessa Kambi. Oh, thanks so much, Wode, for having me on your channel again. Thank you so much for um, bringing them to the beautiful ghost town inside East Legon. I mean, I found this place. No one lives here. So I decided to stay here all alone. <laughs> and did anyone guess that that was you in the background? I, honestly. <laughs> like there is actually no man like you. Like nobody else would be having a sheet over them going Yo, around. What do you think about it here? I need to ask you because you are coming to my home. Okay, yeah. What do you think? about the ghost village I, I actually really like it like i love the fact that there's the houses have their own space but then there's also like the communal spaces in the middle okay and yeah i mean we should but definitely it, check it, it out it's, it's so unique in terms mm -hmm. of how it's been built because in ghana you never see this kind of designs everywhere so no it's true that makes the ghost town very unique yeah but yeah i got this to myself 
Okay, so I want one, one million. I want, I want to see Can where you're living. No, give me a uh, hundred thousand dollars. Oh, what? And you give entrance. it to me? <laughs> oh, Just my entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds entrance. about right for you. Wow. <laughs> so, you've experienced the ghost town. I'm now, sorry. let me show you the ghost house. Okay, let's see. I'm it's so hot in here. I'm, I'm sorry. Excited. You're excited. Do you know the first thing I'm seeing is a lot of natural light, and there's this um, skylight above. Yeah. I love a skylight. You love the skyline, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so, like inside the ghost house, everything is huge, yeah? Yeah. See, guess what this is? The living room. This is the living room. And it's like there's these lights. I guess you have like your TV here. So far, you can get out into your front garden. Very nice. It's, I, 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 it's just huge. <laughs> Everything is huge in here. <laughs> Let me come with me, man. This this is a ghost house, man. So the whole of this place is where you can have dinner, lunch, breakfast. So this is your dining. Mm -hmm. There's echo in here because no one lives here. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so this is the kitchen. Wow, it's pink. 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 Like one of my <laughs> not, not my favorite color, but I live here because I'm a ghost. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay yeah. Nice. Is it? I feel like I've actually got like spider webs on me. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, would you? Okay, so I know you live here. I live here yeah, alone. Yeah, yeah. Alone. <laughs> <You> live here. <laughs> I live here alone. Is this the sort of place you would live? For being a ghost, I love being here. Okay. But I always love to see people around me. So I don't think this is the perfect place for me. Uh, but as a ghost, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so this room is for guests. Okay. So guest in case you want to join the ghost clan, I can give you this place all for yourself. Oh, there's a view of the pool from this room. Yeah. Obviously, the pool doesn't have water in it yet because it's just ghosts around. Exactly. But water in there. There's no water in there. Very nice. So this house is like a three-story mm -hmm. building. That's why, I mean, people don't, I don't know why Ghanaians don't like three-story buildings, man, because this is a perfect house for Ghanaians. You want to go up? Yeah. Really? Look at this. I actually like this. It looks like it could be like a wall. I think, I think they did a lot of investment. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's glass you know i honestly think you could put a water like thing here and it could be like shooting up, up. the marble staircase that we're walking up yeah okay so this is where the bedroom start mm -hmm. so i feel like here as well like could be yeah, a little sort of lounge here but here you, you can just stand just to see what's happening down who's coming in yeah, exactly you, so the ghost doesn't have to go all the way down, down. but when when you knock i was here you had to oh, vanish okay. And appear there. <laughs> All right. So it's a six-bedroom house. Wow, so so this is the yeah. This so this is the first one in here. Bit of a walk-in closet. Yeah. One suite. It's the ceilings are so high. So high. So it feels like Royal Sanchi. <laughs> Good. All right. This is the bathroom for another. This is yeah, smaller. Room. Yeah, so if you have kids, they, they can in occupy here. in here. And there's like a they have a wardrobe. wardrobe. Lots of space for all of oh. Yeah, I don't want to waste too much of your time, but you guys should come with me. Um, so there's another room. Which one do you want to go? This one. Okay. This one. This one. Another walk in closer and um, there's another balcony. Hello! No one respond to you because you are literally in a ghost town. Hi! Wow. Welcome to the ghost town. No one lives here. Yeah. So that's another room. Another en suite. And I, I think all the rooms are en suite, man. All the rooms. And they have baths. Yeah. Like so, oh, right, nice. right here. Go up, show you more. Wow. So, that's the motorway. Mm -hmm. The N1. The N1. Is it N1? Yeah. The motorway is called N1? Yeah. 
Oh, what, you just, it's because you don't drive. You oh, don't my go. goodness, jeez, I don't have a car. You know, it's, being a it's ghost. It's time, you know. No, I, I don't need a car. But that's the end one, eh? That's what Vanessa is saying. I have no idea about that. So whenever you buy this property, definitely you have the view of the end one. Okay. Oh my goodness. Honestly, oh. This bathroom is like the size of my bedroom. The women will come and waste time. Oh my gosh! Oh! Jeez! Did you see this, Vanessa? No, I didn't. These things actually scare me because I sometimes feel like they're just gonna drop. Oh, 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 oh! I can't get yeah, no. I'm this. I feel like that's way too low. But anyway, and yeah, I, I feel like it could just, but it won't drop. But. Aye, aye. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. So, one reason why I think that there's nobody here, or I know why there's nobody here, mm -hmm. is because the developer and the owner of this land said that the houses that have been sold have only been sold to a couple of people. So three people have bought like three houses each, and then they just leave them empty. So basically, like people have a lot of money people comment under my videos saying like Ghanaians like these aren't for Ghanaians and that sort of thing I'm yeah. like do you actually know how much money some people have <laughs> that they can buy three of these and just leave them empty and they're not even bothered if they're rented out or anything exactly. like that um, so I think that's one reason or it could be like they have one as a second home and then two that they're just leaving they don't want to leave their money in the bank so they buy things like this and um, so that their money will appreciate over time but but the one that I was hiding inside yeah no one lives there i have no. that place for myself yeah. i think it's kind of expensive that's why people are not purchasing i mean these houses because mm -hmm. you know the one that i live in do you know how much it costs how much 1.1 million it's a lot it's a lot of money that, that's a lot of money and the cheapest that you can get in here is four hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to see if I can find like uh, one dollar in my pocket. And there's not even one dollar in my pocket. How can I afford to buy four hundred and fifty thousand dollars? But I think, um, and also, you see, we have properties like this sitting down. No one is staying in here. Mm -hmm. Don't you think maybe this can happen? Maybe we can go to the street, mm -hmm. find the people sli sleeping on the street that they don't have places to stay. Definitely. Let them come and stay in here, yep. have a bit of luxury, mm -hmm. and then in future, when people come in to buy... There's you know, other people, yeah, oh, right, okay, yeah. Instead of having an empty house... I know, it is, it's people so... People are sleeping on the street. It is so, so sad, like, even... I mean, like, actually look at the amount of space oh, here. Oh, my goodness, it's like, but I love this place, man. Like, yeah, I think... This is one of the... <laughs> most beautiful estate that I've seen in Ghana in person and um, even the greens you know I mean when it comes to Ghana so many real estate developers don't like greens man. Mm -hmm. they don't, don't want to build and leave greens you know space for you to plant something mm -hmm. and seeing this in here makes me feel like this is one of the unique um, estates here in Ghana and I think after this video we can fill the ghost town yeah you know, definitely I did, I did one video in Rwanda uh-huh ghost town in rwanda yeah i saw it it was and a good one it, it, it was really a ghost town and when i went there this time around mm -hmm. the place was actually full and then they told me that come and check two years ago you said that wow. this place is a ghost town and now the place is full i hope so look what you can time, do this video that we're doing mm -hmm. can i mean how do you call it inspire rich men's of ghana <laughs> or rich men in the diaspora to come and fill the ghost town and you can also buy it as an investment if you have mm -hmm. money in the bank don't let them you see these banks you can't even trust them yeah there's yeah, i mean mm -hmm. give me the money i'll keep it safe here for you yeah <laughs> and you'll be living in the house at the same time you're like give me the money and i'll keep it safe. i, I can live here come and party weekend, yeah, yeah, yeah. and go back to my one room because i live in a one room house you know please uh, let me also i mean have a touch of luxury sometimes man but Vanessa, after coming here what do you think man? so i think that this is the perfect place for like families for my kids, they would love it here. They could ride their bikes, play in the park, go in the pool. 
Um, I think like the houses, I think these ones are four hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars. I think like that's more reasonable. Um, I mean, it's obviously still like on the high end, mm. but I think if people are looking for somewhere that is totally safe and secure and it's in a neighborhood, this is a good option. So if anyone is interested, then you can just email us at hello at vanessacanby.com and we'll put you in touch with the developer who can like answer your questions. I mean, I mean not just email, I think the number is on the screen. It's also okay. easy for you to contact and reach out to Vanessa. I mean, come get one. But what I love about this place is the privacy. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though it's a whole community, but everyone has its own privacy. Yeah, I, no, I it's wish true. I can take you to all these houses and see that all of them are, I mean, fans. I mean, everyone has their own compound. Yeah, which is that incredible. is one thing I really I mean, like about it. That you're going to share in here is the um, how do you call it, the playground and you have a clubhouse where you can swim but if you have money like me get yourself the 1.1 million and you have a personal pool yeah mm -hmm. i mean I, I, if i was living here that would be my dream one that one right there because it has like a proper wall so it is private you've got your own pool that, and that everything would be dream, so know. who's buying it for me <laughs> <laughs> no i'm joking okay. you know I, he said that would be my dream. I'm like, I thought Vanessa is gonna remove 1.1 million dollars right now for us to buy. That. Oh. And, you know, when you buy it, you know, it's six bedroom, eh? Give me one. Of oh yeah, pieces. sure. Yeah, you and Trudy can come and stay anytime. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing video from the ghost town in the richest neighborhood in Ghana. Don't forget to like the video. Go to Vanessa's oh, uh, YouTube channel. I mean, what's the goal for the year? Wow, I've not really thought about it, but let's say, <laughs> let's say 150,000, so I'm on about 135,000 just now. So, the, so yeah, the goal for check the year out is 150,000 subscribers. Please do us a favor, you know how we do it, it's by force to support content creators in Africa because they are putting so much effort to change the narrative of Africa. And I believe that if you subscribe to Wadamaya, why are you not subscribe to Vanessa? Oh, thanks. Be, see, be an Ashao on YouTube. I said it <laughs> in 2021. I mean, no one is gonna see the real Ashawa, yeah? Mm -hmm. You have to pay money before you enjoy it. Right. But on it's YouTube. It's free. It's actually free. Like, all you have to do is press that subscribe button. And you're supporting me, you're supporting Wode. <laughs> Subscribe and so yeah please and be part of the awesome family Thanks my name so is still much. Mr. Ghana baby don't forget to subscribe be part of the 1 million family as we celebrate this year i mean hey can't wait i can't, i actually can't wait for you to hit a million <laughs>